Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I want to go over a foundation that I've been loving and I want to tell you my thoughts on it. So it'll be a review, um, more of an in-depth review, I guess, because I have been using it for a couple of days. Um, really quick, I kind of brought myself closer to my phone camera because I feel like I've filmed too far away. So let me know if you guys like this particular angle, like me being this close. Um, I would love feedback from you guys. So let's quickly get into it. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that I really like the RMS Beauty brand. Um, a couple of months ago, they released a foundation and I picked it up. Well, I ordered it on Sephora and it's called the Uncover Up Cream Foundation. It's kind of like um, it's kind of a build off of their concealer, which can be used as a concealer foundation. So let me actually take out, I should have taken it out before. Hang on. Okay, there's one. Okay, sorry. So it's it's kind of it was created off of the original concealer slash foundation that they have. That's called the Uncover Up. And if you're familiar with the brand or you're not familiar with it, it came in these like little pots. I have two shades in the pots. The one I think I did a video in the car. If you want, I'll link it down below so you guys could see. So it's this. This is the Uncover Up, and I have it in shade. 33, which is like my perfect foundation shade, like for my face. And I also have it in shade 22, which is what I use under my eyes. So I'll swatch it next to it. They have half shades, which from what I'm seeing online, they are more like a pinkier tone or peachy tone. So 33, 22. These are really great. Um, I like to use the concealer on my face. It gives a nice kind of a glow um, finish, which you guys know I love. It's super convenient. Um, but when I saw that they had came out with a foundation, of course, I was like super excited to try it. And my birthday was, I think like a week ago now. And one of the things that was on my birthday list was the foundation. So this one is called the Uncover Up Cream Foundation. Got it in the shade 33. If you have this already in the concealer form, like I just showed you, you just pick the color of the foundation. But it was cool though, because I was asking um, on their Instagram, like, would this shade be good for me? And they actually replied back and, you know, they were like, oh, based on like the pictures that you have on your uh, Instagram, 33 would be great. So I went with that. This is it. It's got the plastic top. It's in a foam glass container. It's got nice weight to it. And it's funny because when you look at it, it kind of looks like it's whipped, but it's a thick formula and it is a thick formula. It is like a little bit goes a long way. I made the mistake the first time of scooping out just a bit too much and it was full coverage and I just had like all this excess on the back of my hand and I was like, crap, what am I doing with this now? So I had swatched 33 in the, um, the back of my hand. I'm going to swatch this one right next to it. Uh, actually, let me do a little bit of a heavier swatch. There you go. It's like a hair looks like lighter or brighter. This is 33 in the foundation, the cream, the uncover up cream foundation. And this is 33 in the concealer. So let's get right into it. It comes with a spatula. I like to use to dig the product out. I don't want to put my finger in here because I don't know it, it comes with the spatula. I'm just going to use it. Now the annoying thing is that I feel like it can get lost, so I just keep it all in the box that it came with and just kind of throw it in my work bag and that's it. So I scooped out this much. It's very little. I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand again. This is a thick formula. I would rather take a little bit and then kind of build up. So I work on the back of my hand. You can see as I'm patting it out, like it's it's thick. So what I like to do is I use my fingers and I kind of just blend it out. So even though it's like a thicker formula, 
it does blend out really nice. It almost feels like you're just putting cream on your face. I have some redness here. Um, you can apply it with a sponge. You can apply it with a brush. I prefer just using my hands. Um, I just like the finish better. And you can see as I'm putting it on my forehead, I always tell you guys, like, when I'm not sure about a foundation, I'll just put it on my forehead because if it disappears there, I know I'm pretty good for the rest of my face. Only because my forehead tends to be a little bit darker than the rest of my face. But you see, like, I put that on and it blends out really nice. Up here, I guess I have more color. You can see that it's, you know, slightly lighter, but it works with my skin tone. Here I have some redness. And I just kind of, like, press it into the skin. I do find that this foundation is long wear. I've worn it for like 12 hours and my skin doesn't look any different. It doesn't look like um, it's disappearing. And it really does give a beautiful skin-like finish. Oh, really quick. I did prime my skin with the, not prime, I prepped my skin with the Waletta Skin Food Original Ultra Rich Cream. This is my go-to when I'm wearing makeup, when I'm not wearing makeup. Um, I typically don't use primer on my face. I'm just scooping out a little bit more. I would say that maybe a pea size is just enough for the face. Don't go any more than that. But like I said, definitely work in layers. Now I'm doing this kind of a more even coverage on my face on a typical every day. I don't put it all over my face, but I wanted you guys to see how it lays. And you can see, like, here it brightened up on, um, above my lip. Not that it's dark there, but I have a bad habit of picking my pimples and blackheads or whatever. And I've scarred certain parts of my face. And this does a nice job of just um, concealing it. So see? Now, I have a little bit in the back of my hands. I'm just going to put some underneath my eyes, just so you guys can see the coverage. And it does a really nice job. So this is a cream product. That means that it's going to crease. That's normal with any concealer that you use or any product, especially around your under eye area, wherever you have fine lines or anything like that, it's gonna crease. For me, I don't care. Um, if I see it creasing, I just kind of push it back with my fingers and that's it. If, obviously, if you go too heavy, it'll seriously crease. You can set it with uh, powder if you want. I find that this uh, foundation does have a nice, like, I wouldn't say it's a super dewy finish. Like, I feel like when I use the concealer, the uncover up, the smaller one, I almost feel like that leaves more of like a, a dewier finish. Um, that's just my personal opinion. So... See how it covered up like the redness again i'm not i'm not gonna layer it on to be super full coverage i don't like that um finish but i like that it kind of evens out my skin you can absolutely layer this up it has a ton of coverage um but i'm i like this i like where i'm at with this and then i'll just take whatever's left over and kind of bring it up to the top my eyelids so I know I mentioned before, I'm shade 33. I've seen a couple of people do reviews on this foundation and I always feel like they're either like a shade 11, a 22 or 44. Like it's very rare that I find a shade 33. So if you are in my shade range or like you feel like your skin tone is like mine, um, you would probably fall into the same shade range or shade. It's shade 33. I like it. It has a nice like yellow undertone or golden undertone online it's described as a warm beige which i would say it's pretty accurate i would say that my skin tone is a warm beige um so yeah that works nice i love the way it feels and like i said it wears long the only thing that i would add over this just to kind of brighten up underneath my eyes a little bit is the concealer and this is in shade 22 and i'm just gonna press that underneath 
personally, I um, find that this particular formula, like this brand, works really well with my skin. I haven't had any issues with it. I know like if you have sensitivity to coconut oil, this may be an issue for you. I just find that this has been like a huge like um, a huge benefit for me with my skin issues. I've mentioned before I have uh, seborrheic seborrheic dermatitis, and I get it here. And I've been using the RMS foundation and the concealers alongside with the Willetta Skin Food, and I just feel like it has kept my skin happy, which I like a lot because when I have a flare up or anything, it's the worst. I hate it. I'm super insecure about it. Um, but I just feel really comfortable in this, I don't know, with this makeup on. It makes me feel like pretty. And like, I feel like when I'm wearing it, I look at myself and I'm like, oh, my skin looks good. So I think that's what we all want. So when you, you know, if you find that foundation or something that just works like that recipe, like you figure it out and you just keep using it. And it's like one of those things, like if it's not broken, don't fix it or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> so that's my thought on this. Um, I really like it. I highly recommend it. If you are dry skin, you're really going to like it. If you're super oily, I don't see why. I mean, maybe it'll be a little more dewier, but then you can always just set it. So I don't know if you have like a Sephora that carries it, definitely try it out. I know they now they carry the Uncover Up the Concealer. So even try that out. Those are uh, my favorites. I've been just like using these all the time. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Um, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you have not subscribed already. It's free. It's a huge help to my channel. So thank you, guys. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.